Looking up at the night sky, you might catch a glimpse of something extraordinary. T. Corona Borealis, a star that could soon burst into life, outshining all its neighbors. We're talking about an incredible event that hasn't happened in nearly 80 years. Known as the Blaze Star, T. Corona Borealis could put on a dazzling show visible to the naked eye for a few nights. And when it happens, trust me, you're not going to want to miss it. So, what makes this star so special? Why are astronomers all over the world eagerly waiting for its big moment? Well, stick around, and we'll dive into the science behind this star's incredible flare-ups, what it can teach us about the universe, and why this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to witness something truly cosmic. Now, let's get into it. T. Corona Borealis, or TCB as astronomers call it, isn't just your average star. In fact, it's not even a single star. We're looking at a binary system, which means two stars are involved. One is a white dwarf, basically a tiny, super-dense leftover of a star, and the other is a red giant, which is, well, pretty much what it sounds like, a big, bloated star nearing the end of its life. These two stars are locked in a kind of cosmic tango, orbiting each other in a slow-motion waltz across the galaxy. And here's where things get really interesting. The white dwarf is slowly stealing hydrogen from its red giant companion, pulling it over bit by bit like some kind of stellar pickpocket. But there's a catch. When enough hydrogen piles up on the white dwarf's surface, it reaches a tipping point. And boom! We get a thermonuclear explosion, lighting up the sky in what we call a nova. It's like a massive hydrogen bomb going off, releasing more energy than our sun could in an entire year. Yeah, let that sink in for a second. And here's the kicker. This can happen over and over again. Unlike a supernova, which is a one-and-done kind of event that destroys the star in the process, these recurrent novae, like TCB, can flare up multiple times. T. Corona Borealis has had recorded flare-ups in 1866 and 1946, and some historians think it may have even blown up back in 1217 and 1787. So, what does that mean for us today? Well, buckle up, because the clock is ticking for the next flare, and all signs are pointing to it happening soon. You might be wondering, how do we know it's coming? Great question. Recent observations have shown that TCB began dimming in 2023, a behavior eerily similar to what happened just before its 1946 outburst. That's why astronomers are thinking the next explosion could happen by the end of 2024 or early 2025. Now, this won't just be an awesome light show for stargazers, it's also a treasure trove of data for scientists. Each eruption of TCB provides invaluable insights into the physics of these thermonuclear explosions, helping astronomers refine their models of how stars evolve and interact. Imagine having front row seats to a real-time cosmic experiment. Every time TCB flares up, it's like getting another piece of the puzzle, helping scientists better understand how stars live, die, and sometimes explode spectacularly. But more than that, Studying novae like TCB can even help us unravel bigger mysteries about the universe, like how certain types of stars can eventually go supernova and outshine entire galaxies. Yes, galaxies. It's that big of a deal. Speaking of supernovae, there's another reason why this upcoming eruption is so important. These recurrent novae serve as natural labs for studying the conditions that could lead to something even more cataclysmic, a Type 1a supernova. When a white dwarf like TCB's gobbles up enough mass from its companion, it can reach a critical point and explode with such force that it could outshine the Milky Way itself. These explosions are crucial because they help astronomers measure cosmic distances and understand how the universe is expanding. Now, TCB isn't expected to go supernova anytime soon, but by studying its flare-ups, scientists can better understand the conditions that might push a star to that next level of destruction. And hey, every nova brings us a little closer to figuring out what might make a star finally pop. Let's switch gears for a second. Have you ever thought about how cool it is that we live in a time where technology makes it possible for anyone to be an astronomer? I'm not talking about buying a fancy telescope either. Thanks to tools like binoculars, digital cameras, and even smartphone apps, it's easier than ever to observe celestial events like TCB's flare-up. And who knows? Maybe this event will inspire the next generation of scientists, stargazers, and space enthusiasts. Heck, with a good enough camera, you might even contribute to the scientific study of this event. 
imagine telling your friends, oh yeah, that data NASA's using, I helped with that. As Dr. Rebecca Honell from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center pointed out, this once-in-a-lifetime event is expected to cause a surge of interest from amateur astronomers and curious sky watchers alike. When TCB brightens, it'll be visible even from urban areas. So whether you're out in the countryside or in the middle of a city, you've got a chance to witness something that's been brewing for 80 years. So what exactly triggers a nova eruption? That's the million-dollar question. While we know the general process, hydrogen piles up, reaches a critical point, then ignites like a celestial firecracker, there's still a lot we don't fully understand. For example, what role do magnetic fields play? How does the rate at which the white dwarf siphons off hydrogen affect the timing and intensity of the explosion? These are questions that scientists are still trying to answer, and every NOVA event offers new clues. Here's the thing, though. Predicting these eruptions isn't an exact science. Astronomers like Ed Murphy from the University of Virginia are quick to point out that just because TCB is dimming doesn't mean a flare-up is guaranteed. Historical records show that the timing and intensity of these eruptions can vary widely, so while it looks like we're on the verge of a flare, nothing's set in stone. It's this uncertainty that keeps astronomers on their toes, constantly refining their theories and racing to develop better observational tools. And speaking of new tools, the future of astronomy is looking brighter than ever, no pun intended. With the upcoming Vera Rubin Observatory set to become operational in the mid-2020s, we're entering a new era of discovery. This cutting-edge facility will provide continuous full-sky surveys, making it easier than ever to detect transient events like Novae. In other words, we're about to get a lot better at spotting these cosmic fireworks before they go off, which means even more opportunities to learn about the stars and galaxies around us. For now, all eyes are on T. Corona Borealis. Professional and amateur astronomers alike are eagerly awaiting the star's next move. If it does flare up, it'll be a powerful reminder of just how active and dynamic our universe is. And who knows, maybe this event will spark a newfound passion for astronomy in you. Or maybe you'll be inspired to join the growing community of sky watchers helping to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. So, keep your binoculars handy, stay tuned for updates, and let's all hope for clear skies when TCB finally makes its big debut. And hey, if you've enjoyed learning about the wild potential of T. Corona Borealis, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cosmic updates. We've got plenty more astronomical wonders to explore together. Until next time, clear skies and happy stargazing.